one month later. I'm gonna go find this yarder again. The boat motor broke right up at those narrows last time. The thermostat went out on it and it was overheating and stalling, so. Okay, off to a yarder. And almost there. So here we are, found Miss Molly Medill. Apparently it's been here, it's supposed to have been 17 or 18 years. Did a sail up and behind it. Still sitting up on this huge pile of wood. It's all decked up, keep it out of the water table or something. They say everything in life means more if you have to work for it, so this is one of my prized walk arounds this one I had to work for it Everything's really slippery on it too. Raising ram. And power plant for the carrier, gas engine. No doubt some kind of big block. And I'll guess this is a 220 Cummins.
these are the last of the real yarders. No air controls here. Heck, no operator seat here. This is a half stand up job. Those are the brakes on the bottom. Main line and haul back. Don't want to fall through here. Main line drum. All back. Some western red cedars growing through it. Six skyline winches. Spar pad. And a water outlet on the tube. I have heard or read that they used to fill these up or can fill them up with water. So I guess it yarded through there. There's a block behind these trees that's cleared out. Just a little retention patch for around the water here. And just speculating that there's a few some scraps here that are kind of dead in lead with where the tower sits. They look like a the leftovers from a yarding deck. So they're facing exactly where the tube would be if it was up. So they must have got, this must be the last of the landing. It's still got the butt rigging attached. Place tie the main line. Good fair leads there, look good in my driveway. I've got one like that. Is there butt rigging? It's only running two drops on it. Which was indicative of the times. Big wood didn't run run too uh, too many chokers. And they're hauling four foot logs. This stuff's big time heavy. There's my hand. It's big heavy stuff. Swivels. I bet you you couldn't buy that probably for four or five thousand dollars today. Even this little uh, little setup here. Raising jacks aren't very big. And 
She's an Esmodil from Nanaimo. And this is where someone will have to help me out here. Maybe we can get some history on it. Serial number is Edward 38 Charlie. Her model number, serial number is 36010. And there is a brass plaque on it. Model number, yeah, same thing, E38 36010 serial. Maximum mainline. Inch and an eighth. Minimum guy lines the same. Six guy lines. Hmm. All right, that's our Medill. Oh, one last overthought on the way out. Somebody's left a little trail because they struck gold. They found themselves the hydraulic setup. This is most likely for running all the guy line winches. And that's as far as they could get. It's not much of a treasure. Oh man, she's heavy though. There you go. That would be scrap metal only. That would have to be so pulled apart and honed and resealed and spools polished that wouldn't be worth it. Old logging stuff always puts up a fight. <laughs>